Hey guys, I'm Ian. Thanks for tuning in again to Forgotten Weapons. We have a really cool one for you today. Today we're going to do the Mauser Showdown. We have pretty much every combination of broom handle C96 Mauser. We're going to do some shooting and see how they stack up against each other. So we're going to start out with just a plain C96 broom handle Mauser. This is in 30 Mauser and uh, do some shooting with it. It does have a shoulder stock attachment, so uh, after we do a little with just the pistol, we're gonna attach the stock and see how it changes with the stock. Then we're gonna take a look at a C96 carbine. This is a dedicated carbine model with a 16 inch barrel and a detachable shoulder stock. So I expect this will be a lot more controllable, but we'll find out. And then finally, we're going to use a, uh, a Mauser 712. This is the full auto version of the broom handle Mauser. All right, and of course, we can't have a gun like this out here without at least trying it without the shoulder stock. Just, I guess I'm kind of dumb that way, but we got to try it.
So this is by far the most accurate way to shoot a broom handle. And really, that should come as no surprise, because this is really a carbine that happens to be based on the C96 broom handle Mauser. Um, I was able to actually get a nice group with this one, um, albeit at a short range, but really a nice group. The, uh, the pistol itself is a little unwieldy, didn't help that the barrel isn't in good shape, but even with a shoulder stock, the pistol is a little questionable to shoot. It just doesn't have the sight radius that the carbine does. And the Schnellfuhr, forget about it. You, uh, you can't aim for crap with the Schnellfuhr. Um, maybe with a lot of training and practice, but that thing just sprays ammo really fast and, and jumps all over the place on you. So, if you really have to hit it, this is the way to go. But uh, if you just want a fun time, full auto broom handle Mauser is hard to equal. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. When you do that with carpentry, it's called scaring the nail in.